In this lesson we're going to look at easings. These are a way of running animations at different speeds over the duration of the animation. jQuery itself has just two types of easing by default, linear and swing. With linear easing, the animation proceeds at a constant speed throughout. It's effectively no easing. The swing easing changes the animation by making it run faster at the very start and very end of the animation than it does in the middle. There is an easings plugin that can be used with jQuery to add the many other types of easing. With jQuery UI, however, this plugin is included by default, so we can use any of the different easings automatically with either custom animations we add ourselves or any of the jQuery UI effects. In the working files, there is a file called easings.html. Let's open that up. On the page is a yellow box. We can animate it using jQuery's standard animate method. So we'll animate it by changing its left position by 500 pixels. We can set the duration of the animation using the second parameter. So we'll set this to one second. We can then specify the easing as the third parameter, and we're able to specify any of the many different easings. No special configuration or initialization is required. Because we're using jQuery UI, it just works. So let's see one of the easings in action. We'll go for ease out bounce. So let's view the page in a browser now. So we can see that the animation proceeds as normal, but then at the end of the animation, there's a bounce. In this case, we used the ease out bounce easing. So the bounce is at the end of the animation. We could also use the ease in bounce if we want the bounce to be at the start of the animation. We can even use ease in out bounce to have both. All of the different easings have these different modes, an in type, an out type, and an in out type. There are 30 different easings in the library, which sounds like a lot, but then you can divide that by three to account for the different types of each one. So really there are just 10 to learn. For further information on all of the different easings available, check out the guide up on the jQuery UI website. And on this page, if we go down, we can see that there are a series of graphs here which show how all of the different easings progress throughout the duration of an animation. In this lesson, we looked at the easings that are included by default in jQuery UI, which we can make use of to enhance our animations.